Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you yet another chess chat uh, for Monster Legends. <laughs> uh, this is another, uh, in the series we talk about limited time chests. Are they good? Are they not good? What have you. Uh, and today we're talking about the legendary dark chests. These are uh, elemental specific random chance legendary chests. Uh, the the key thing with these chests are you get pretty much anything. This does include VIPs. You could get really, really lucky and walk away with a ranked up VIP. Or you could walk away with something terrible. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the thing when you do these chests. These are gambles. They're not guaranteed the thing you want. Uh, and you're not even guaranteed the thing that you, you know, you got it for, for that guaranteed specific reason. Like, uh, let's say, you know, you went into this thinking you'd get a rank four dark monster. You might get a really terrible monster that's not even ranked up. <laughs> that, that's the analogy. See, that's, that's the thing. That's the catch. Uh, and that's the main, again, that's the main reason why people are investing in these just from the get-go. They might get a rank four monster probability. Bam, slap a probability on that. It's probable. It's, it's a, it's a chance. You, you're not guaranteed. You're not, even given the chance for that to even to be a rank four. It might be like rank one or two or three. <laughs> it might not even be the full rank of why you wanted to buy it to begin with. You might not get what you want, is my point. That being said, I think this is the best one to invest in if you are going to invest in any of these random chance boxes because dark monsters have a pretty good competitive consistency. If you didn't get the thing you wanted and you just wound up getting something like either at least at the very least decent i mean like as long as it's used for competitive play it, it wouldn't really be something you should complain about and dark hit monsters have a pretty good consistency of that there's uh there's only a handful of bad dark monsters while everything else is pretty much decent it's probably like a f like a just like a group uh, but the rest is just usable it's competitively decent uh and this dark and metal i do believe have the best consistency of that uh a lot of people don't want to get these chests because there's a chance you might get hey man i think that's dumb it just because it is just a really dumb reason <laughs> it, it, it's really dumb uh but people would still invest in like the the fire chest or like the earth chest <laughs> and they they would wind up getting things that are just as equally terrible <laughs> and there's a pr bigger probability of that happening but uh dark i would dark and metal i would say have the least probability of getting something terrible uh at the very least it would be decent and usable for competitive play uh that's just what dark men metal always have been they've always been good consistent competitive monsters they've always been good in some way uh be it they're either their base stats or their traits or their skills there's a lot of old monsters that people still use to this day in the dark category uh either due to the fact their base stats or skills are really decent uh and or their traits uh dr hazard for example while it is a very old monster it is still a used monster because he runs two aoe's two dark aoe's one of them poisons and one has a single target stun uh barbatos extra turn double damage really really usable akinotep immune to possession uh aoe one of the best aoe debuffs in the game still used because of that it's still used it's still competitively viable i do believe he had like a single target stun i don't remember if he had a possession too but he, he just has a bunch of good stuff he's, he's pretty good uh he's still decent at the very least decent if, if you don't if you don't think uh akinotep is really really top tier stuff that's fine at least you could acknowledge that he's decent looking at his kid you would you would say it is really decent i would use this for competitive play over something else yeah you, you can say that for each and every dark monster uh, based on their utility and as such but as you can see here there's only really a handful of bad monsters or at least the bad pulls uh dark skull nipodos losty ghost or slumberly mmo monster count vlad lysha low 10 uh and vampiria everything else that i didn't say are pretty much pretty to decent to really good pulls so if you got like a Doctor Hazard, Akinota, Barbados, Noctum, Master Skill, Celtis, Krampus, the Kringer, the the Will Razorface, Lotan, 
Uh, I don't know if I said Akadontep yet, but Akadontep, Fenrir, General Nishant, uh, even though he's like a team shot monster, it's it's still usable. <laughs> Erebus, Jabalain, Phalax, Harusami, Scribe, Nishant's pet, hey, <laughs> not Heyman, I mean, that's, that, that's bad pull too, but <laughs> it, it doesn't really help that looking at this, you see that I have a ring for Heyman, I, I've had that, I, I got that from the team shot, the, the, just don't think I actually got the just got it in ring for Heyman. <laughs> but, Raz, you know, Razul, Nox, Little Red, Baltazar, High as Hirondel or Joustar, yeah, the, the Abomination monsters. See, consistency. There's a really good probability you'll walk away with something really good. That's just what Dark Monsters is, or at least decent. You'll, you'll, it'll at least be usable. You don't, if I was going in uh, doing the gambling thing, if I got something at least decent, I wouldn't complain about it. <laughs> I, I would not complain about it because then I could just use it to rank up. Uh, if I already have a copy of it to begin with, I can use it to rank up. It wouldn't be too bad. If they, it would basically, uh, like, if I didn't have the, the rank one for it, uh, that just means now I, ha I do. <laughs> or if I don't have a copy of it, it just means I have a copy of it now. Uh, and if I don't get it ranked up, well, that's whatever. I, I, that's the That was the, the extra gems that I was willing to pay for it because I, I was willing to gamble it being a possible ranked up monster. That's just what you do with these tests. It's, it's all chance. It's all about luck. Uh... Now, beyond the, the bad choices I said, if I were to do this and, you know, I invest a, you know, let's say I've got a chest uh, and I got something that I didn't, I didn't get any of the things that I said that were bad and I just got universally anything else, it'd still be a good pull. <laughs> it would still be a good pull uh, based on the monster and based on a specific reason for said monster. Uh, Ringer, for example, while it does have poor base stats, he does carry a level, I mean, a, a 70 damage base skill. Calctus, really strong single target damage, uh, though he is fragile. He still has really good da base damage. Today's damage is phenomenally good, uh, and his base stats kind of help him with that. He's got a good attack stat, uh, life steal capabilities, uh, Let's see here. Jabbo line, really fast monster, single target deny capabilities. They also apply another effect and stamina leak, AoE poison. Uh, I do believe that that was her only AoE. But you see, it's useful. It's useful. It's utilitary. Utilitary. Good. Utility good. <laughs> utilitary. Is that, is that a word? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get my point. Like, every single thing here, for the most part, is usable. And that's what I would want when I'm going into gambling. I'd at least want something I would use. Like, you don't want you don't want anything that you won't use. And for Dark Monsters, there's at least something here that you will probably use. It's, it's a pretty good chance you'll use it. Uh, now, I have seen people with really bad luck with these drawings. Uh, I, I, even if you were to do uh, a six to seven pull, you're not even like that's not even a guarantee. You'll wind up picking a four from that six to seven pulls. Uh, I've seen someone do a six to seven pull and they got like maybe like a rank one or two monster from a six to seven pull. The odds of getting a rank monster aren't too high themselves. Uh, so final verdict, is it a good idea to get at this chest? If you're just planning on getting a random chest chest to begin with, uh, yes, this would be the best one. This would be the one I would recommend you getting. It would be a good recommended choice. Uh, if you were to spend $50 right now to do a six pull, would I recommend that? No. <laughs> Here's why. You might as well just get Samuel. <laughs> if you have, if you're gonna, if you're planning on, you know, spending, you know, fifty dollars for the chest, you might as well just get the Samuel chest. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the. If you wanted, uh, you know, a good probability, I, I would pick up this. If, if you're going to spend $50 right now for like a, you know, either six random chances pull or, you know, the guaranteed pull of getting a Samuel and it would be ranked up, there, there's a really good chance you'll pick up at least uh, two copies of a Samuel and possibly one of them being a ranked up one. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would recommend this. Uh Nemesis monsters are just really the best monsters in the game at the moment. They're designed to be stupid. They're designed to be dumb. And to get them guaranteed, you, you pretty much get every single one guaranteed. I, I'm pretty sure you get everyone guaranteed. Because every time I've seen a video of this, they, they people usually just get enough to craft them at the very least. You, you just pretty much get the set, and that's really good. Uh, and or rank them up, which is better anyway. But y you get my point. It's it's just a really good chest. Uh, I would not I would not spend fifty dollars on it, no. <laughs> but like uh, on the like if, if between the 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 one the six legendary chance thing 
or the guaranteed good thing. I, I would just get the guaranteed good thing. Uh, personally, that's, that's what I would do. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful, educational, what have you. I'm Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.